out is you have a recession, the unemployment rate spikes, of course, the share of adults with a job falls. Unemployment rate comes back to normal, the share of adults with a job comes back to normal. That didn't happen after the Great Recession. The unemployment rate came back to normal in 2015, but the share of adults with a job did not come back to normal. We still had 2% of adults who were sitting out the workforce. They weren't looking for a job. They had just given up on finding one. And so the big question is, what's going on? And you can kind of think of it in two families of explanations. So one is a set of things like robots or trade competition or something else that has nothing to do with the recession that would have happened anyway. You know, robots come and it reduces some workers' wages and they decide to sit out the labor force forever. There's another set of explanations that have to do with the recession. You know, we had this big recession, folks got laid off, maybe they made a bunch of adjustments uh, into how they got by, and the recession eases, but the effects are still there. And there's this long shadow of the recession cast on U.S. employment even after the unemployment rate signals recovery. If you're the chair of the Federal Reserve and it's 2015, unemployment is back to normal, what do you do? Do you say, okay, you know, maybe it's time to raise rates because we are at a new normal and you know, tough luck, we just had a bad run of robots and trade or other forces? Or maybe there's a possibility that this recession is still holding down employment and maybe it's even reversible. We've got these two families of explanations. We've got the ones that have to do with the recession and the ones that don't would have happened anyway. Something like advances in robotic technology, uh, those affect workers perhaps equally uh, nationwide. You know, the robot technology is available in every city. The Great Recession hit some cities much harder than others. So let's think of two workers. You know, Sam is working in Phoenix in 2007 at Starbucks, okay? And then and there's another guy, same age, let's call him David, and David is working in San Antonio in 2007. Phoenix is America's sixth largest city, San Antonio, America's seventh largest city. The recession hits Phoenix really hard. Unemployment spikes through the roof. San Antonio gets by with a relatively easy recession. Okay, but these are similar workers doing similar jobs. Fast forward to 2015, if Sam from Phoenix is much less likely to have a job at all in 2015 than David from San Antonio, you know, we can't chalk that up to advances in robots. Uh, it's much more likely that it's uh, a, a long-term impact of the recession. Sure enough, Sam from Phoenix and other folks like him are much less likely to be employed at any point in 2015 than those Davids from San Antonio. One thing that stands out in the data is that the incrementally affected folks, the ones who are those extra non-employed people from places like Phoenix, those folks were all, almost all of them had been laid off. So this looks like some kind of scarring effect of a layoff. But it's a little nuanced. It's not just that people were laid off and laid offs and layoffs are bad. It's that it appears that layoffs in depressed cities are especially bad. Okay, so if you were laid off in San Antonio, you're actually pretty likely to go find a job again. If you're laid off in Phoenix, you're pretty unlikely to find a job again, relatively speaking. If you're sitting at the Fed and there's another recession, the unemployment rate comes back to normal, and you say, okay, recession's over, actually, you need to be thinking, well, maybe there's folks on the sidelines that may come back. What happened in 2016 and 2017? The share of adults with a job rose, and it rose a lot. It rose by 1.6 percentage points, most of that from folks coming in off the sidelines not from further declines in the unemployment rate. So it looked like...